Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are here again uh, with the BBC saga. I do want to do a reading on the bullying aspect of it at some stage. I have done quite a few readings on the bullying saga already. It does seem to be at the root of a lot of all the strangeness that has been going on over the past year or so. Uh, with Harry and Meghan uh, but I'm going to wait for part two of that documentary to come out before I tackle the bullying again so I thought I would look at Prince William and Catherine because their response to the BBC documentary has been swift and vicious they have sacked the BBC and asked ITV, this is all allegedly, asked ITV to step in instead and broadcast the Christmas Royal Carol special which is being held at Westminster Abbey and being presented or hosted by Catherine herself and people are hoping that the children will be there and that it will be a wonderful occasion and ITV of course very pleased to be involved and BBC is uh, feeling the pain of the uh, anger uh, and that the royal family uh, is experiencing and obviously decided that they weren't going to take this line down and who can blame them. Of course there has already been trouble with the BBC, very big trouble with the Martin Bashir interview. Prince William was extremely angry about that, very upset. Who can blame him? So the BBC is already in disgrace as far as Prince William is concerned, now even more so. So I am going to be just doing a Celtic cross and having a look at how William and Catherine feel about the BBC at the moment and what will be going on between uh, the Royals and the BBC in future. Of course the BBC was always the go-to channel, it was the public broadcaster in the UK and uh, always had first place in a royal business doesn't look like that's going to be going on in future and BBC has possibly taken a bit of a wrong turning but we'll see we are using today of course the nightmare before Christmas deck uh, because we are talking about a Christmas carol special that is going to be broadcast not by the BBC so uh, it is a novelty deck it is uh, it doesn't really bear much resemblance to the right away. So for those of you who are learning tarot, uh, it's a bit of a puzzle. It's a bit of a problem deck, but it does speak. And uh, so it is out today for this reading. And uh, let's see what William and Catherine uh, really feel, how they really feel about the BBC. I don't think we need tarot to tell us they're very, very angry. Uh, but let's just have a look anyway and see if um, the tarot can give us any more details in particular on how the relationship between the royals and the BBC is going to be as it goes forward and uh, whether the BBC will actually regret this seemingly moment of bad madness somebody's ambition the guy involved i can't remember his name but he seems to be extremely ambitious seems to be using the royals for his own purposes and of course my opinion at tarot reading or for entertainment purposes please form your own opinions and conclusions reach your own conclusions and uh, underlying energy is the three of candles in reverse and uh that's interesting because it is a collaboration card. Three is always about working together with somebody. Three of candles is a three of wands. And um, three of wands, three of candles in reverse means that uh, a joint venture comes to an end. Uh, quite simply, no more. Uh, whoever is involved in that joint venture, and of course it's the Royals and the BBC, are not going to collaborate in future. They have given up on each other and it is the card normally of somebody waiting for their ships to come in it's a waiting card but it's an expectation of of something that's growing and expanding a business venture it's something like that in the reverse you're no longer expecting uh, things um, the collaboration to bear fruit and giving up on it basically no longer waiting walking away from it really uh, so it's very clear from this that um, William and Catherine are done with the BBC very much so 
And so let's have a look and see what is the heart of the matter from their point of view. And we get, wow, we get death. And uh, death in the reverse. Um, death is, of course, the ending, the end, literally the end. So we've got two cards telling us that something has ended. This death card is in the reverse and that could mean that something hasn't ended but it just feels really stagnant and as if it needs to end but they can't quite make it end. That could be one interpretation of the death card in reverse. Another interpretation of the death card in reverse is that it is over, over, over. Uh, because when cards are in the reverse, they can mean the opposite energy or they can mean the extreme version of the energy. I think it's over, over, over. It's not going to be resurrected. And of course, I mentioned the Diana interview and many people, and I would say that uh, Prince William and Prince Harry, we're talking about Prince William now, not Harry, I uh, feel that that interview would, it led directly to Princess Diana's death, um, that she uh, gave up her royal privileges, her security, all of that. Uh, it was a very bad moment in her life. And uh, so there's the death card. Now that's a big card. It's Major Arcana. Somebody asked me what Major Arcana is in the comments. And of course, Tarot has the four uh, suits and uh, then it has 22 extra cards which are archetypal cards. Those are called the Major Arcana, 22 of them, and they represent big things, things that are, are fated, destined, um, are, as I say, archetypal. They're sort of meta, meta energies. So hopefully that explains to you, if you're watching this reading, what Major Arcana are. So the challenge that William and Catherine are feeling at the moment with the BBC and uh, we get the temperance card in reverse. They're out of balance. They are, the BBC is not playing fair. It is just, uh, it's a sort of poison chalice there. Somebody's pouring uh, things into that cauldron and out, out comes an evil, really an evil spirit. Um, it, it's not, it's not playing fair. It's not being balanced. It's not being reasonable. Of course, uh, it is alleged that Megan was given a right to reply and sent her lawyer off. So she and Harry seemingly knew the contents of this documentary and were given an opportunity to represent themselves, defend themselves. And the royals were not. And um, that apparently is contrary to the, um, the broadcasting um, terms. I don't know what the technical word is, the legal word, but it does seem to be um, actually illegal not to give somebody a right, um, a right of, to reply when they are implica in, involved in a, a program like this where allegations are made by one party and uh, very serious allegations in this documentary apparently and so they are being um, definitely uh, major arcana again temperance in reverse the bbc being very unfair um very out of out of balance very um very unjust a kind of in energy from this card i'm almost getting justice in reverse energy from temperance um so yeah things have gone out of control with the bbc and william and catherine are very 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 upset about it obviously as i said at the beginning of this reading uh, no mysteries here but um, just interesting to see how the cards actually describe the situation and uh, they are telling telling the story as accurately as usual and uh, so underlying energy for William and Catherine what's really um, really uh, the, the the motivation for what they're doing at the moment and we get the eight of candles and that's publicity that's communication that is um, broadcasting literally it is the communication card in the tarot the eight of wands normally um, and it is a swift moving energy they really uh, want their message out. They want their message out in a very positive way because it's an upright card. So they want to get their message out powerfully, positively, and they have got their message out uh, by very um, swiftly. 
uh, replacing the BBC with ITV for this broad, particular broadcast. Um, and uh, they made their point and they made their point very swiftly and very publicly and very clearly. And that is the eight of candles energy. So um, going forward, I think that they are going to be using other channels, other media for their message. And it uh, is reported that uh, they're going to be using YouTube a lot more. They already have a YouTube channel and um, they can control their message very much, um, much better on a channel like YouTube. Don't need the involvement of the BBC at all. Eight of Wands is telling me that that's very likely what they are thinking behind the scenes. Oh, well, we'll just scrap public broadcast and, and possibly all the other broadcasters because ITV isn't exactly in their corner. They've uh, pr pr produced some fairly scathing documentaries about the royal family and about the conflict between William and Harry recently. And um, so definitely royals are thinking that they will just take matters into their own hands and uh, produce their own uh, make their own message in future and I think absolutely good idea uh, that's the way the world is going and uh, why not so they're focused right now uh, with this whole business and uh, we get the queen of presents in reverse Catherine queen of pentacles uh, there she is uh, it's not a very Catherine looking uh, <laughs> depiction uh, a rather large lady in her a chef's outfit, a maid's outfit, um, but in the reverse. So Catherine is very upset about this and very upset. And so she seemingly is the driving force in um, changing broadcasters for her Christmas special that she is hosting. It's a big deal for her. She's getting more, uh, she's taking more and more um, uh, pro prominence in, in, um, the, the royal family she is much more confident she is fronting a lot of things interviewing people recently she used to be very shy and um, she's much more confident now and as I say she's a much more a public face of the royal family she's very upset and um, the, when the queen of Pent of presence as it is here the queen of pentacles is in reverse takes away loyalty takes away support takes away uh, nurturing energy and so that's a big uh, a big uh, deal for the BBC going forward they've lost somebody who used to be loyal to them who used to be a fan used to be faithful to them and it is no longer so she really uh, looks like she is um, it has a lot to do with this decision and obviously she does it's a joint decision but it really is about her right now so what happened in the recent past with the BBC and uh, the Royals they were friends, three of potions, three of cups. They were in harmony. They were um, working together, another collaboration card, but this is the three of cups, so it's an emotional collaboration. There was, a, I think, a long, a long-standing relationship between the royals and the BBC that was very positive, very friendly, very warm, and um, it's gone. It's gone with the death card that came out as the heart of this reading. And it's gone with the three of candles there as the underlying energy of this reading. But it was there. And so I think there's a lot of hurt about this really in the royal family. It's not just a kind of a business decision. Oh, we need to get our message out in a positive way. There is disappointment here. That kind of disappointment that when you lose a friend, a long-standing friend, that really leaves quite a hole in your life. And there has been a lot of betrayal, as I said at the start of this reading, and a lot of disappointment, and I think a lot of hurt still. And um, so what is going to be going on in the near future with this whole story? Yeah, the BBC is going to be isolated. The Five of Presents, that's the Five of Pentacles. The uh, the ruin, the, uh, the exile, the being cast out, being are shunned. That is what the Five of Presents, the Five of Pentacles is about. It's about ruin, really. It's about being um, being cast out. And very clearly the BBC has been cast out by William and Catherine. Uh, very specifically, we're getting a lot of that energy here in this reading. So that's telling me very, very clearly. These cards are very clear 
uh, today in this reading that it's over for the BBC right now. It's going to be over for the BBC in the near future. They aren't going to be asked to participate in royal projects in the future, in the near future anyway. We'll see what the outcome is um, ultimately for the BBC. But right now things are looking bad. So really, how do William and Catherine feel towards the BBC? right now and we get the chariot in reverse and that's a delightful card i always love seeing this card when it comes out i think it's such a great depiction of the chariot center and his sleigh the ghostly reindeers there and the moon it's a beautiful card and um i forgive some of the other cards in this deck when i see this one because it's really such a lovely card but it's in the reverse and the chariot is of course a cancerian card <laughs> and uh no, William is done with the BBC. End of the road for the BBC. Absolutely done. It's major arcana again. Quite a few major arcana coming out. Big ones that say, oh, we're done. We aren't interested in you anymore. The journey is over. You have taken a wrong turning. It's telling me very clearly that William and Catherine think that about the BBC. That this journey into wokeness and attacking the BBC just to uh, get, get points, get... Uh, I won't say clicks, whatever it is, advertising, revenue, whatever it is. I don't think they have ads on the BBC. I could be mistaken. It's been a long time since I've been in the UK. And um, But whatever it is, wherever the money is coming from, uh, William and Catherine think that they have, the BBC has taken a wrong turning. And of course, the chariot it's a very ambitious card. It is about political ambition. And when it's in the reverse, ambition, that's run amok. And so I would say that, as I said, this broadcaster, this uh, chap who is behind this documentary, uh, apparently extremely ambitious, uh, very successful, very hostile towards the royal family, um, publicly hostile towards the royal family. And they think that he is overambitious and he has sent the BBC in a wrong direction. This, of course, all just my opinion. And uh, let's... Uh, Repeat the disclaimer. And uh, so how do they feel about Harry and Meghan and their involvement in all of this? The fact that they got to write a reply, well, Meghan particularly. How do they feel about Harry and Meghan right now? And King of Presents is the King of Pentacles. So, and that's Harry. Harry is coming across as King energy in this, uh, as if it's all about Harry. Harry is the one. Uh, and Meghan, obviously, but he is the one that's being presented as the dominant royal, the one that everybody should be respecting, looking up to. And um, William is the one that's being portrayed in a bad light. William and Catherine, the rest of the royals, and Prince Harry and Meghan are being portrayed as the royals everybody should be looking up to, respecting. And I think that really, really irritates Prince William. The King of Presents always has quite an angry energy about it. Even when it's upright, it can be sort of quite grumpy. And I think he's really quite annoyed that his younger brother, his treacherous younger brother, is being portrayed in this dominant and reliable and responsible position when he isn't at all. And so the hopes and fears of, of uh, William and Catherine going forward, and we get the Nine of Pentacles, and that's an interesting card because they're really hoping that they can be independent of the BBC. Nine of Nine of Pentacles is uh, the person who has their own money, their own security, their own comforts. They're very comfortable in their own skin. They don't need anybody else around them. And so William and Catherine are making plans to ditch the BBC permanently. You can bet on that. Absolutely, the BBC's out in the cold. Ultimately, William and Catherine are going to be going on a whole new YouTube adventure. Isn't that amusing? And the dog barks when I say that. <laughs> the dog isn't in the room where I'm doing this reading, but the dog, the deaf dog, has heard and agreed. It's very interesting. He's still talking. And uh, outcome, the outcome of all of this. And there is William. There is William as the King of Candles. He is... Uh, <laughs> He is a very amusing card, this to me. And uh, William is going to triumph in this. He is going to get his message out there. The King of Candles, the King of Wands is about the message, is about leadership, is about dynamic leadership, is about um, being creative, being enthusiastic, 
uh, venturing into new territory. Uh, it's, it's an explorer, uh, the king of candles. The king of presence, the king of pentacles, doesn't have that energy of uh, boldly going where no one has gone before. The uh, king of candles does have that leadership quality that follow me, I'm going into new territory. And just as I said in the previous card, William and Catherine are going to be going onto YouTube and possibly to other channels where they can get their message across without interference, without meddling, without having to deal with Harry and Meghan and their lawyers and Omid Scobie and all the rest of them. And they're going to go very successfully in that new direction. And very, it's very dynamic energy. It's very happy energy, very positive of energy and I think people are going to gladly follow them wherever they go so it looks like the BBC is going to be left behind the stagnant energy of the BBC with the death card in reverse that uh, five of pentacles telling me no more deals with the BBC is going to be left out in the cold and uh, journey has come to an end with the chariot in reverse this card down here and I'm sorry I'm in such a small space and I can't fit everything very well into the camera angle uh, but all over for the BBC and William and Catherine going successfully on with their journey, their media journey elsewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> it seems like it's turning into a nightmare for the BBC. And uh, good, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, on that cheerful note, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.